Will you believe me if I say that the elderly population is becoming a trend and people in the world are getting older? How much older? Well, today, almost 1 billion people are over 60 years old. According to the Age International, it is expected that by 2050, over 2 billion people will be over the age of 60. And this is twice more than the number in 2000. What about here in Thailand? Well, we're currently ranked as the third most rapidly aging population in the world. About 8 million Thais are over 60. Aging population is a relatively new occurrence for Thailand. And by 2040, Thailand's aging population is expected to increase to 17 million. This means that out of every four Thais, one will be a senior citizen. This is what we call an aging population. There are three main reasons why this is happening. First, the baby boomers generation is now moving into retirement. Second, people are living longer in recent decades due to the medical advancements. And third, there is a fall in the number of children born to each woman. An increase in life expectancy is certainly good news and should be celebrated. Now, you probably be wondering why I'm talking about this. How is this an issue? Isn't it already good enough that people live longer? Hmm, well, there are always two sides to a coin. Here are the problems. An aging population is posting considerable economic and demographic challenges for the governments of many develop developing countries, including Thailand. Why? Despite the improvements in medical, um, in healthcare system, just the sheer number of the elderly patient means longer wait time and less time for each individual patient. The problem is even more acute outside urban areas where there are fewer doctors, specialists, and nurses. Believe it or not, some hospital staff are so overworked that some even died from exhaustion. Plus, what about the medicine? Well, everything costs money. The problem we face is how to adapt to this pressure. From that, I began to do lots and lots of research and found out that while people are living longer, it doesn't mean that they're happier or enjoying a better quality of life. As people's bodies age, they can experience physical and mental health problems such as memory loss, poor vision, weak bones, loneliness, and feelings of worthlessness. As a result, we often find that the elderly suffer from chronic illnesses and this will surely increase the health service demands, such as the hospital and the aged care system, which involved in looking after the aged people. Now, with my curiosity to find out about how these people live, I search up the word nursing home to find out about how the system works and how do people care, take care of them. I was particularly concerned because some of us here, or even myself, may end up in one of these places. Therefore, I decided to actually visit two nursing homes. The first nursing home that I visited is, support, is supported by the government, whereas the second one, which is located in Kanchanaburi, is supported by a Buddhist temple. These two nursing homes hopes to help ease the burden of the families with low income who cannot raise their elderly and their, in their own homes, as well as to preserve Thai traditions in terms of embracing and supporting the elderly by expressing gratitude to them. What made me really shocked and surprised was that people are reliant on the nursing homes, but the nursing homes are running out of space. There are hundreds of people who are signing up to make a reservation to live in the nursing homes, but 
Believe it or not, some people were put on a waiting list for 10 years before they found a place there. Yes, 10 years. Wow, that's a very long time. <laughs> so, having visited both nursing homes allows me to realize what it actually feels like to be in these places. It was extremely emotional to get a chance to talk to some of the elderly about their backgrounds and the reasons that they have to stay there. Some have no one to take care of them. Some literally got ignored and ditched by their own family members. Some haven't saved enough money after their retirement. I look at them and I could see that each wrinkle on their face add years to their life, suggesting what they have been through throughout their whole life. These people have passed all stages of life and are waiting for their final one, the one where they would go to sleep forever. I look into their eyes and I could feel a sense of tiredness as if every light is too bright. Every word is too much. And every breath is too heavy. At that point, I realized that one day I would be like these people and nobody can avoid the nature of life and death. At one point, we all will reach the age where our energy and circumstances no longer allow us to pursue our purpose any further. As humans, we have a deep need to feel as though our lives mean something. We want to be happy. We want to be recognized. We want to love and feel love. That is why the nursing homes are so important. That is why we need more places like this in Thailand and around the world. We need to think about the demographic time bomb that will soon be exploded. We need to start thinking, acting, and planning now. Otherwise, our senior citizens will have nowhere to go, no one to take care of them, and it's sufficient fun to cover their required expenses. It is all our duty to think about the incoming aging population because it is something that will affect all of us sooner or later. Thank you. <laughs>